Hey, welcome to the kitchen, everybody. We love it when Coleman rolls in and we get to catch up with him. And we love it so much, Megan and I decided to share the kitchen with you. Is that okay? Absolutely. Also, fried green tomatoes are my favorite thing in the whole planet. Yeah, we can bring in some of the sound guys, too. Just whoever. Oh, trust me, when we're done cooking, show. everybody will be here. Okay, sounds okay. good. What do we make? Um, while I'm making fried green tomatoes, um, I have my tomatoes right here. Now, uh, when looking for fried green tomatoes, or tomatoes, excuse me, um, you're thinking that this is an unripe tomato, which is possibly true, or it is a tomato grown to be green, which is also true. It just depends on what you're looking for. Really? Um, this is a premature tomato, so it'll be a little tart and more acidic. Let me ask than you a question. Yes, when you're ordering the tomatoes, yes. do you say, I want unripe tomatoes? Um, well, you have to be specific and say green tomatoes. Otherwise, you have to ask for an heirloom, which well, that was um, where your green tomato would come from in the ah. nightshade family would be the heirloom tomato. I see. So these are just unripened tomatoes, premature. So they're going to be a little tart. So Is that I have some a fruit flour. or veggie? This, um, well, it's a fruit unless you're making a salad, then it wouldn't be in the fruit salad, um, you know. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, so I just have flour and then I'm going to have some buttermilk okay. right here. And then I have some cornmeal. Now, um, it's not just cornmeal. Inside my cornmeal, we have um, some white garlic or some powdered garlic, some um, onion garlic or some onion powder, some white pepper, and some salt. Just anything that wouldn't show up inside okay. other than the. Because you don't want it uh -huh. to change color. You're going to trust me. Yeah. You ready? Thing. Yeah. Oh, we'll oh just, no. I'm just put it right there. Yeah, I'll put some oil in there. This is avocado oil. Um, oh. The reason why we're using avocado oil is because it burns or has a smoke point of 500 degrees, which is a lot higher than your olive oil. Um, it's also higher in unsaturated fat, which is like minuscule to, compared to olive oil. And but it's good for you, right? Yeah, it, it is. Um, I've read some things about people rubbing it on their face and stuff. Really? Um, yeah, and while I'm doing this, I have two hands. So I have a dry hand and a wet hand. So, so when you're doing it at home, something to keep in mind. Oh, yes. I see. So I'm not ending up with the big clump, you know, mitt. So it's just dry hand, you got it? wet hand. I, I didn't realize, but I, he was very, he was very surgical in it doing It was all yes. he's know. a magician. Do you no. want me to put this in here or You no? are more than welcome to. Yeah, it's, um, you know, you just want to get it nice and brown on each side, maybe about three to four minutes. Um, and while you're doing this, you can make whatever component you would like to go with it. I have uh, made some avocado spread that we're going to be putting with Ooh, it. So an avocado spread. spread. So, yeah, and it's avocado oil, so we're just, you know. Now, does the know. avocado oil add any flavor to it, or it just... No, just no, 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 not at all. No, no. Like I've I noticed said. that. Avocado oil, no, no, no flavor. No, no flavor at, at all. It's just, like I said, just a little extra um, unsaturated fat. So Very good. Because they're both high in omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, olive oil and... So healthy, <laughs> what yes. we're doing here. Yes. Uh, you can go ahead and flip it? those so we're oh, not... Oh, really? Right. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like it doesn't said, take long. No, ma'am, not at all. See? <gasps> wow. Is, is it because it's in a cast iron? Do you think that makes a difference? Um, I like it in a cast iron just because if you don't put it in there and it's hot, your tomato is just going to absorb the oil, and you're not going to get the crispness that you want. You're just going to have the soggy. You got to you you get the crisp. You got to get the crispness. So what are you doing, Andy? I, well, I'm, I'm here <laughs> facilitating. I'm like a moderator I'm between you guys two. Hard. Hey, I, yes. you know, we, we always talk about prime. Oh, yes. But now we're, we've added lounge to the end of it. Tell me what's up with that. Um, well, it's always been prime chop house and yep. lounge. I just call it the chop house. The chop house. Um, the lounge part is it's, it is a very relaxing place to go. We have a few couches, a lot of nice chairs, um, and it's right down the street from um, the Metropolitan Speakeasy. So you know they got a speakeasy. We got a lounge. Just come hang out. Everybody's chilling. Um, come chill. Yeah, yeah. So we're starting to do uh, live music and stuff like that on the weekends. So very you know, good. It's definitely nice. School's in session, so come on in and. Eat something after you get your kiddos out. Well, Sounds we're glad good. that you left the chop house behind today and came apparently to what we're now calling the smokehouse. The smokehouse. The smokehouse. We'll take yes. a quick break. <coughs> we'll get some fresh air and we'll be back after this. <laughs> Go ahead.